Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I am working on some more Canva layouts for my Denver album. And I actually was just working on the previous layouts, had my theater stuff out, so I thought I'm just gonna go into the next one, see if I can get that done. So this is what I have here. So I definitely need something on top. It is a little different that the background is purple. And I went with that because of what you kind of see in here. There are some purple things. There's a purple hue over here. So I figured that was probably a safe bet, but I do need to be able to match stuff with it. There is also kind of this yellowy light gold here. So maybe some of these phrases would work. So I'm just gonna, once again, kind of spread these all out, see what I think of what's there. I don't wanna have to reprint any that aren't here because I've already used some. So I've gotta make it work with whatever you're seeing here. What I'm thinking for this one, at least right now, is this for the title, because it takes up a lot of room, but I think I would put enamel dots on either side, because it looks weird kind of just with it there. So I could either use the black ones I used last time, or I can work in some other shade of purple, maybe, or even this light blue, depends on what they look like. And then I think I want to use this thing that says, that's a wrap, because I really didn't have the best response to this production, so I was ready to be done with it actually at the end. And I don't say that often, that is very rare, but this was one where I was just very meh about it, and I was ready to, to move on from it. So I looked at my enamel dots, and none of the blues I had, this is just an example, were quite right for this. I thought maybe this one would be, but it's not. It's actually just a different shade of blue here that I don't really have that completely fits. So I think I'm just gonna go with black. Since I had a couple left on this line that were in this set, I'll just use what's left there and it'll be fine. All right, I added the enamel dots up here. I tried one down here and it blended in too much for the background, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave this as is. But now this one is done, which is awesome. And what's gonna be on the back side of that is actually the next day, because I got back from this quite late at night. So then I have this, and actually this is what is going to face it on the opposite side. So I don't know that I'll do all of that, but I can do this side for sure. So for this one, you can kind of see the color scheme I have going here. I have lots of white and this kind of teal color, turquoise sort of, and a little bit of black. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, I think. I would also go with gray because there is a gray bed spread on here and gray is a neutral. So I'm just going to go through all of my embellishment stuff and pick out colors that might work. So I have that one. This is one that has my gray and black. That's probably it. I mean, I don't know that I want to use one of these just because there's already so much of that color. But if I found the right thing, maybe. I don't know. So I'll use it. But then I think gray and black, that's kind of it. Those are, those are my choices. So I'll start with all of those and just see what I find. So these are the things that will actually be side by side in the album. Notice the shape of this up top, where it says 11th Avenue Hostel. Hostel, look what I found in my stuff. It's the same shape. <laughs> this is just more elongated. And it's black and white, which is perfect. And I love what it says. OMG, I think I love this place already. So I think what I'm going to do is center it right there in this empty space that maybe all this page needs, honestly. I thought about maybe covering up my wallet that I had thrown on the bed there, but I don't know what I would use there, and these would be awfully close together if I did that, so I may just do this and make it just very clean and simple and leave it at that, and then it matches what I have over here. That's just a bonus. So I thought I was just going to leave this as it is, but I decided to open up this package of stuff from this color to see what was in there, just in case something might work. And I found this. And it is kind of the perfect size. I can just put it right over my wallet there and you'll see a little bit of the wrist strap right there, but it's barely anything. So I'm gonna put that over it and all I'm gonna do is just write the date in there because this was the start of the next day. So it will indicate that now we're in June. I think that'll work out very well. All right, so you can see this one is all done. All I did was add the date there and I think that's perfect. It does not need anything else. 
this is what sits across from it. And I love that it's some different photos. This is still the lobby, but different than what I have. And I just love the graphic design element of it. So I wanna keep it, but it's longer than eight inches here from top to bottom. So it's gonna to have to be trimmed because that's not gonna fit in the album. And then it's shorter than three inches this way, or I'm sorry, shorter than four inches this way. So I have to add something, just a little bit. It's, it's not too much shy of four inches, but I will have to add something to make it work. So I'm gonna to have to have a background. I'd love to maybe find something in this color, even a little lighter like this, but I'm not sure I have a scrap that big. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. I have trimmed this down to fit and I didn't really lose that much, just a little bit of the border that was on the bottom and I'm totally fine with that. But I was trying to figure out like, what could I do to make this the same size as the four by eight on the other side? And I remembered, I don't even need to find background paper because I have this washi, which is the right color and it even has a cool pattern. So I think what I'm going to do is actually cut this down more. I'm gonna get it very close to the black edges of that border there and then more of this will show through once I have it all laid out together. I have this trimmed down even more now so you can see I went in fairly close to the black lines here on either side. I did leave a little bit of a white edge there but not much and now on here what I'm going to do this is what's on the, going to be on the other side. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to run it edge to edge on the left side and top bottom and then I will cut off the excess so that it looks even and hopefully this turns out well in my head it sounds good it looks good but who knows when it's actually put together you never know but I'm gonna give it a try all right so here it is I haven't adhered it down yet but here it is that's what it looks like so it will go edge to edge like that and I want to kind of get the patterns even as possible but it will look pretty much like that I love the look of that I really lucked out that I happen to have this washi because it's not like it's a super popular color I don't think and then I have happen to have a beautiful pattern on it I just really really lucked out so I think I'm going to attach that and then maybe I'll do some kind of piece of ephemera up here or something not sure about that yet there it is all attached and I've decided I think I want to look for a phrase or a piece of ephemera that has this color. This kind of butter color because it's here and then there's a little bit of it right there but I feel like it just needs to be livened up a little bit. So I do have these so I'm going to look through here. If that doesn't work I do have a big um, zipper pouch of all of my phrase labels sorted by color so I could look at those as well. I think I have found something in here that I can use. It's the right color and it just says details and I love that this fur is lighter, this is darker. And I think what I can do is I can just cover up the thing that says book today. I don't need that. I can just kind of maybe go like that. Then it's shifted a little more to the left. This in the same color shifted a little more to the right. I think from a design perspective that works well. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna write in here yet, but I am going to use it. I have decided to do some stamping here. On this set, this is called Wander. It's from Carrie Bradford Studio. From this set, I'm going to do this stamp right here. Hopefully it'll show up if I do this. It says, in love with this place. It's a perfect fit. I'll have to be very careful with how I stamp because it will barely fit in there, but it will fit. So I'm going to use that one. I realized something before I went to stamp, and that is that on the other page that I had, it already says, oh my God, I love this place. So I didn't want to use that same stamp after all. I decided to switch and I went with needed this escape instead. I think that is perfect because I did need a getaway in general, but also this was a great stay for me. Like it's on a fairly busy street. I didn't hear any street noise when I was upstairs in my room. Like it was quiet. It was peaceful. I was super relaxed when I was in my room, just what I needed. Okay, so now I have another three layouts done. So here is a close up of this one. And there's the second one there. And then this is what will be across from it. And I love the way all of these turned out. I love that because it's 90% done in Canva, 
all of the rest of it goes really, really fast. So that's always a bonus. So here's three more pages done for Denver. Thanks for watching.